So when you hear anyone reference blood sugar, they're talking about glucose, the molecule that powers our cells and has an enormous effect on our health. The most interesting thing to me about glucose is that our body has a complex but efficient system of keeping glucose levels within a healthy range. This is important because too much glucose or too little glucose can contribute to near-term issues like brain fog, as well as long-term conditions like Alzheimer's. This makes glucose one of the most important molecules for us to understand. Now, before I tell you more about glucose, feel free to like this video and subscribe to our channel to learn more about how food and other lifestyle factors are affecting your health. What's up everyone, I'm Austin, and when my doctor told me that I was borderline pre-diabetic in my early 20s, I continued living my life as if that visit never happened. I cared, but I think the reason I didn't make any meaningful changes was because I had absolutely no idea what glucose was. If I could go back in time, I'd certainly do things differently. Actually, I'd start by educating myself on glucose. And this is what I'd say. Glucose is a simple carbohydrate composed of a single sugar. And although this simple sugar is just one molecule, it plays a vital role in the functioning of almost all of our cells. It's so important that our body has a built-in complex system to make sure we don't have too much or too little glucose, as either scenario can cause a range of health problems. And although our bodies can make glucose, most of the glucose we use comes from the food we eat. You see, when you eat, receptors on your tongue and in your gut and pancreas sense the presence of carbohydrates. This sets off a chain reaction of events to tell the body to process and use this fuel. To get into the blood, several different transporter molecules help move glucose into various tissues. From the small intestines, it moves across the epithelial cells lining the intestine and then into the blood vessels. Once in the bloodstream, the glucose goes through the liver where it either gets turned into glycogen and stored for later use or continues into circulation to be absorbed by different cells in the body. So as you might be able to tell after that brief explanation, glucose is present just about everywhere in the body. Now, as normal as it is for your cells to have access to blood sugar when needed, consistently high blood sugar can actually cause some complications especially because it triggers the flood of a hormone called insulin. Insulin is made by your beta cells in your pancreas and is a hormone that affects every cell in the body. It has several effects, but it's well known for stimulating muscle and fat cells to take up sugar from the bloodstream. However, if insulin levels are consistently high, your cells can actually start to become numb to the hormone's effect, causing a condition called insulin resistance. That means your body needs more insulin to do the same work, which results in even more circulating insulin and glucose. This cycle contributes to nearly all chronic conditions, including heart disease, diabetes, infertility, and Alzheimer's disease. Insulin also blocks our body's ability to burn fat for energy, so high levels of this hormone are a critical factor in weight gain, thereby making weight loss very difficult. Unfortunately, chronically high glucose also has a slew of adverse effects beyond insulin, including chronic inflammation, a surplus of harmful free radicals in the body, and glycation. Experiencing these symptoms of chronically elevated glucose can be frustrating and sometimes utterly debilitating. But your health doesn't have to get to that point. The biggest lever in controlling glucose levels is what we eat, so try to avoid meals with excess sugar and disproportionate carb counts. Instead, you may benefit from a diet of low-carb vegetables, fiber, protein-rich foods, and fats in their whole food form. In addition to that, consistent routines that prioritize sleep, exercise, and stress management will go a long way in fortifying your body as each of those can have an impact on your glucose levels as well. Glucose is so important to our homeostatic system and sometimes it can be tricky to get a handle on. Thankfully, there are factors well within our control. Through consistency with a healthy, thoughtful diet and positive lifestyle decisions, we can keep our glucose levels stable and improve our metabolic health. To get an idea of what your glucose levels should be throughout the day, this video right here will be a great resource. Or if you want more details about glucose and how you can test your blood sugar level, you can check out the full length blog post that's linked in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.